Ooh, what if... Here's a crazy prediction. Uh, what's her name? Uh, Maria finds out everything, uh, uh, including what happened to Dokes. And then Deborah kills Maria to protect Dexter. Hey everyone, welcome back. It's been a minute. Today we're watching the entirety of season 7 of Dexter. I'm just about to record the three last episodes of the seasons. Just wanted to let you know that there were two episodes. I think those are 5 and 6 where my camera... Uh, recorded for about six minutes and then for some reason it just stopped no clue it always happens with Dexter for some reason uh, so without with those episodes I'm just gonna give you a, a recap when we get to that part uh, but I'm very excited to finish the season and yes I'm excited so let's start watching season seven of Dexter Yee! oh we're starting with uh High speed chase, or maybe he's just. Wait, is this a flash forward? It's simple human nature to keep little secrets about ourselves. But what if your whole life is a secret? And exposing the truth could destroy everything you are. What do you do? Run? Mm. Oh. She's pulling. Away from the body. What? I cannot believe she's pointing a gun at him. Her instincts are animalistic. Travis was here. He came at me with his sword. I knocked him out. There's been a lot of anger inside me since Rita died when I looked at Travis and thought about everything he did. I wanted him dead, so I killed him. It still doesn't explain why he's wrapped up like that. I'm a forensics expert. I guess it's just second nature not to leave a trace. Jesus, Dex. <laughs> I have to call this in. But, Even but if I'm lucky enough to get off due to temporary insanity, they'll still put me in some yeah. psych ward. Mm -hmm. I'll lose my job, and my career, and probably even Harrison. Oh my god, I haven't even thought about that. We make it look like a suicide. Gasoline, there's a station nearby. Deb, go home, I'll do it. I know what I'm doing. Bullshit. Mm. She's a donkey. Uh -huh. Oh, oh, no, 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 don't, don't tell me. Dexter, don't even think about it. Did he, I hope this, this ends with us or the, the sample. Um, I think it would be really cool if we if we actually see uh, in the end that he didn't kill the dog someone else killed the dog i hope so <laughs> oh oh no oh my god <laughs> oh my god Oh, you know what? This actually gives me hope about her finding out about about uh, uh, dogs. Maybe that's gonna start a spiral of her finding out everything. With the basketball scores, I thought it'd be okay. It's not okay. Well, I'm really, really sorry. Never touch my things. What are you doing here? This is Dexter's side of the apartment. I didn't realize there were different sides. I'm like super sorry. Super sorry. Great guy, but he's really kind of a pompous jerk, don't you think? He's all like... Don't touch my shit, man. Well, don't touch my shit, man. I get to know you, the weirder and weirder you get. Yeah, that's a red flag. What was his car? His car wasn't found in the scene. So, how'd he get to the church? Oh. Sure, yeah, you should check it out. I will. First thing in the morning. Um, who... Who the fuck is this? <laughs> Not another. Come on. No. no! No! Thank you. Yeah, please don't. Oh no! no. <laughs> oh no. But I think he's probably gonna be okay. How are you so perfectly prepared to kill Travis? When you tried to get me to go home, you said, I know what I'm doing. What did, what did you mean by that? I meant I work crime scenes every day. This doesn't feel right. Deb, I never meant to get you involved in any of this. But I am. 
We had to give Banjo back. I am so sorry, sweetheart. I, this is all my fault. No, it's all my fault. Aww. Phew, at least the dog is okay. <laughs> what the... Oh. My getaway pet. I don't want to run, but if Deb doesn't let up, that may be my only option. Wait, wait, wait. He's gonna just leave Harrison? I mean, that's his plan. Oh, he died. Oh wow! So Mike didn't have a lot of a lot to do as a character, but that's good. We're getting rid of all the unnecessary characters. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mike. Nothing on Prince except for hers. Seatbelt buckle, they're all wiped clean. But there's always one place they forget to clean the turn signal. Hmm. I find it funny that criminals would use the turn signal. <laughs> oh. I need to see the files on the ice truck killer case. Row up, 17. Really good soundtrack so far. Hmm. We have a match. Victor Pasco. Oh, okay. That's why he wanted to go to Kiev. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the perfect family. <laughs> Why are you doing this? Because I have to. Because I need control. You are crazy. There's really no need for name calling, Victor. <sighs> then get it over with. Respect, Victor. <laughs> but in this case. Oh! Oh! Okay. This is Isaac. Victor left on an evening flight. What about the dead police officer? Uh, it's still a problem, but they don't have shit on us, so I'll make it go away. Good. Hi, Jimmy. Is Dexter there? It's Deb. No, he's working late. Hmm. He's at work. Mm -hmm. But you know he's not. Like shooting and everything. He might be there all night. Oh yeah, right. This. Does that happen a lot? Lots of nights till 3, 4 a.m. I'll see him at work tomorrow. Okay. Good night. Ooh, what if... Here's a crazy prediction. Uh, what's her name? Uh, Maria finds out everything, uh, uh, including what happened to Dokes. And then Deborah kills Maria to protect Dexter. Vincent. Okay, okay. I was wondering if anyone had a chance to go through the evidence from the church. Sorry, it's all in those boxes over there, but I'm uh, kind of swamped here. Does our forensics team ever take blood slides at crime scenes? Only one person who ever worked at Miami Metro ever took blood slides. And that was? Sergeant Dopes. <gasps> the Bay Harbor Butcher. Oh my god! Oh my god! Ah! forgot about that that Dexter put his entire slides at, uh, in uh, in Doug's car right I don't remember all the details but I think it was something like that and that's how he how he framed him oh wow oh oh my god <laughs> oh my god what is going on did you kill all these people don't don't end this please I did. Oh my god. Are you a serial killer? Yes. What? Oh my god, that was a good episode! <gasps> wow. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. And now I really want more of Maria, please. Okay. I, uh, Dexter, you're not helping yourself by chasing her like that. <laughs> you really don't. 
Are you the Bay Harbor Butcher? This is a place to talk about this. That dad, dad taught me. He gave me a code. Dad knew? Yeah, that's why they spent all this time, precious time together. Oh my god, that is so much to digest. In such a short time. Harry so. found me sitting in a pool of my mother's blood. He understood why I had these urges. I call it my dark passenger. You gave it a name? <laughs> <laughs> you make it sound like it's okay. Like you're the victim here. The people in that box, they're the victims. What am I supposed to do here? I can't turn my back on this. Then join it. If you can't beat it, join it. What are you gonna do? Oh, he's back. <laughs> I think that went pretty well, considering. You're looking for the hand, aren't you? Look, I can explain. Look, remember my former intern, Ryan? Well, she needed some extra dough, so she stole the hand and auctioned it online. Who won the auction? I put Lewis on the case to find out. Lewis. Even the one who was snooping around your house. They say people like you are addicts. Well, when addicts want to get better, they go to rehab. I could be your clinic. You move in with me, maybe you can get over it. What if your dad had taught you how to quit? Instead of teaching you how to live with it. He fucked up. You're gonna take my bedroom and I'm gonna sleep out here on the couch. Between me and the front door. I will be by the door. <laughs> He's gonna have to tranquilize her if he wants to kill people. Eat together, we're gonna watch TV together, we're gonna drive to fucking work together. Hope you got a big shower. Um... Okay... Completely honest with me. That is the first rule. My new code. <laughs> nice. Yes, it really is like a new code. Ah. Yeah, but it's not gonna last because we have another season. How does it feel, this need to kill? What do you call it? My dark passenger. <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing when you think about it. It starts with blood, yeah, the image of it, trickling down the back of my eyelids. The trickle becomes a stream and then a flood. But then the blood isn't red anymore. What is it? It's black. Feels like my head is going to explode. The only way to relieve the pressure is to open the floodgates. Let it spill out. You're a sick fuck, Dexter. Jesus Christ. <laughs> is he on a uh, blood hub? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the night that Kaja died, she left the club with Victor. Who the fuck is Victor? My thoughts exactly. Like, really, word by word. Turns out he's a member of the Kashka Brotherhood in the Ukraine, known for narcotics and human trafficking. Hold on. I have to take care of this. Are we good? Dev, I'll be surrounded by federal marshals. I think I'll be okay. Where are the bodies, Wayne? Closer to the road? So why'd you tell us to dig here? Because this place looks completely different. Look at these mini malls. You think I like being out here with you? Oh, it's been so long that there's a completely new complex around. You surprised a lot of people. How's that? Leading us to these bodies. Why the change of heart? People say you grew a conscience. It was always there. It was just buried under a lot of Wayne Randall. My charge card numbers. So Lewis killed my credit cards. Rents. Oh no, that's gonna be. It's gonna start normal and then and then gradually get really intense. Uh, video diary app. One touch device starts recording. Tap again, and it uploads directly to. You. Oh god. <laughs> I'll never be an app for this. I want to see Dexter lying in his own piss and vomit, and I won't stop until that represents the high point of his day. <laughs> Shit. 
You better give me a good reason not to hurt you because right now I really want to break your neck. Why? Oh. Oh my gosh! I came to you for help with my game and you said no! This is about your game! He's really that pathetic? I'm tired. I'm totally tired. No. I see another rent in his future. No way this is done. Eh? Oh, hey, Dex. What? Oh my god. Kill him. Well, I better get going. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, get a boom. Jesus. I'll catch you at work. Get your fucking filthy paws off, Harrison. God damn it. Anything I can do? I don't even eat meat, but this looks so good. Just enough for a good night's sleep. <gasps> no. No. <laughs> Just finishing what you started. Yeah, so is he actually going to go through with it or change his mind again? Hello? But what is she going she cannot she cannot drive. She wait she drove, but she's half half drugged. I almost drove off the road, I'm so fucking tired. Are you fucking kidding me? Dexter, what the fuck did you do? Nothing. I couldn't go through with it, but I wanted to. It is too deep inside me. Harry was right. I am a monster. You should arrest me. You should take me in. Dad was wrong. The fact that we're here tonight proves that you were in control. I'm not going to give up. No. And I'm not going to let you give up. So I, did, he did kill him? No. I still have to get you out of my life, but not by taking yours. Progress. It kind of reassures me more that no, this, it's going to all going to blow up in the end with uh, with Maria. My name is Isaac. I'm the owner of the Foxhole chain of gentlemen. It would appear that George neglected to do your exit interview. <laughs> you got to be kidding, right? Would you mind telling me why you quit? I mean, I trust it wasn't the hostile working environment. It was nothing to do with the tragic death of one of our dancers. Because if it did, I would completely understand. I had you followed. You know what? I didn't say a word. I swear. I lied. <laughs> I didn't have you followed. You loved her, didn't you? It's terrible to lose someone you love. Well, at least he does it himself and not letting his uh, bodyguard do the job. Still thinking about last night? Actually, I'm thinking about how much I could go for a frosty swirl. That's good. If you're thinking about normal things, then maybe you're becoming more normal. Like a guy I could actually see myself have a family with. <laughs> She'll always be watching me, but hmm. maybe that's okay. If Wayne Randall can make peace with his sentence, who am I to complain? No, no, there's something... Bring the alternative. Well, well. Looks like you two are ready to eat each other's shit. Oh, yeah, we kind of patched things up. I'm happy for you. I never got to do that with Hannah. I was never as alive as I was when I was with her. I wish I had a chance to tell her how I felt. You can still tell her. I'm afraid the clock has run out. I sure as fuck I'm gonna miss that. There's just one last person I need to kill. Oh, okay. So they're not gonna find the body? He never cared if anyone found the bodies. He just wanted a couple of days of sunshine and frosty swirl. <laughs> That's what I Randall thought. didn't change. And he couldn't take life in prison. Can I? Hmm. Good, good two episodes. I feel trapped, like there's no escape. She's got me penned in like a caged animal, and an animal is never more dangerous than when it's backed into a corner. Wait, are you... Yeah, I would do the same, really. I can't do anything about Deb, but there's one irritation <laughs> I can get rid of. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Luis, yeah. He sent him back the hand. <laughs> I like that. 
If he did manage to leave the country... Okay, he's talking, but why she's staring at you? <laughs> scoop him up. We're talking. Dude, she's still staring at you. Is she mad at you or what? All right. <laughs> you fucked up, didn't you? You did. You screwed the dead pooch. Oh. <laughs> oh no. I can't go on like this, living by Deb's rules. Anne Feig disappeared after a date with Speltzer. Speltzer will most likely kill again. Speltzer's grown his hair, but he seems no less hostile. Hey, what are you up to? I'm just trying out a new gym. Thanks for checking in. Oh my god, she is. <laughs> She's doing her job. Your name is Nadia, but you go by Nadia. It's a beautiful Russian name. My music teacher, Mr. Chilich, he said to me, Isaac, you think you're strong, but you are not strong if you don't feel. He gave me an F, so I pushed him down a flight of stairs. I felt bad about it. My love of opera is all that's left of my sensitive side. Hmm. I want you to get close to this detective. Find out what the police know about Victor. He's so, like, by the book, kind of a, a slick villain. This is what my life has become. <laughs> oh my god. Which one is worse? I don't know. Got a package here addressed to Miami Metro. Oh no. Oh yeah, uh, I'll take it. I think I drank order from the hustle store. Oh. Right <laughs> nice, yeah, he brought the, the hand back. Dear Mr. Green, when I bought the Ice Killer's hand online, I assumed it would be in mint condition. You had the hand the whole time? You are so fucking fired. Vince, hold on, you out. out. Now. I'll be back. <laughs> that was clever, though. One more step and Lewis will be out of my life for good. Oh, there's another, there's another step? What's going on? I'm just watching a video. Want to see it? Oh my god, but... Your hour's almost up. I'm only thinking of you. That was before we started dating. You're wearing the shirt I gave you for your birthday, asshole. I don't ever want to see you again! Go, Jamie. You remember this case? Yeah, where he spelt you. I think he's getting ready to do it again. You got me here to help you stalk a Speltzer so you could kill him? This is not what we agreed to! You fucking lied to me! Not here, come on. Oh, she is pissed. I thought maybe if I let you in on my process, you'd appreciate that oh. there is some value to what I <laughs> I have to be free to be who I am. It is a capital offense to be who you are. I'm taking you. out the trash. There is a legal system for that. And just because people are bad off, it doesn't mean it doesn't work. If it worked as well as you think it does, I wouldn't be so busy. <laughs> what is it about your personal law that is so much better than the one that the rest of us agree to live by? One wrong people can find a lot of other people who agree with them. That doesn't mean that they're right and they loner is wrong okay all the signs point to her eventually meeting him kind of halfway at least if not going all the way over to his side because she she is pushing so much against it we are spending way too much time at the strip club so you were able to reconstruct the gps tracking points now get to the point what happened to the bracelet miami airport then a marina and eight miles out to sea, with a signal stop. It's dumped in the ocean like a load of garbage. Whoever killed him left from this marina. Okay, so he's going to be chased down by, by a Russian guy. So, Hannah McKay, were you around for the spree killings? She wasn't in on the murders, just a kid who fell for the wrong guy. Can I help you? I'd like to talk to you about Wayne Randall. What a surprise. Oh, it's, uh, what's her name? Wow, okay, I almost did not recognize her. The, it's the Handmaid's character. Look, I feel terrible about what happened back then, but the only way that I have been able to survive is to move on with my life. Before we go, my colleague has to get a DNA sample from you. What, Instalove? Boat, you arrogant asshole. Is this your boat? Yeah, this is my boat. 
why I'm on it. Look, I don't have to tell you anything unless you show me a badge or something. Why did you kill Victor? I will call the cops. Oh, no, oh, no, no, no. I, like... I didn't kill anyone, I swear. This isn't even my boat. It belongs to this douchebag named Dexter Morgan. I hate this guy's fucking guts. That's why. <laughs> He's just a jerk who works for Miami Metro homicide. Oh, oh. We got rid of Mike. We got rid of, of Luis now. Oh, I no. The best mojito in Miami. Awesome. Maybe, wait. Maybe uh, Deborah is watching over him. You've got me paranoid about Speltzer, so. I'm gonna drive by his house, make sure he's tucked in for the night. Yeah, I just hope it's not gonna be too late. Why would you go a, to a place of a guy who just... I mean, not, not to blame a victim, obviously, right? Just it's kind of a self-preservation thing. Wait, what's with the flickering light? I'm gonna cruise by his house, make sure he's tucked in for the night. Oh my god. What the... Oh no. Oh fuck. My god. Wait, he ran away. Oh no. You were right. If I'd let you do things your way, then Spelter would be dead and that girl would be alive, but he's out there. Well, you can't change the way you think overnight. I haven't what you do. I hate it, but I get it. But what I don't understand are the blood slides. They're trophies. They're like Spelzer's earrings. You like to kill. Deb, I can't change who I am. And I can't change who I am. I think you should move back to your place. I'm still your brother. Nothing's changed. Everything's changed. I'm finally out of my cage, but freedom comes with a cost. It sure does. Deb. Will you? Will you be mine? Oh, it's actually licking. Well, that was terrifying. If I were living at a beach house where it's so easy to break in, I could never just lay there in a bathtub. Rita. Another left turn. Trinity killed her. Because I was coming after him. Did you love her? Why would you ask me that? Because I suddenly have no idea what's the truth and what's a fucking lie with you anymore. Are you even capable of love? I love you. <sighs> Oh, they got the guy. Fuck this guy. Your mom sure was pretty. She died a few years ago, right? She probably had a lot of admirers, right? Men that would go home with her and... You could hear her through those thin walls that the two of you shared. Weren't you kind of wishing that it was you inside her? I should have killed you like I killed that other face. We got him. <laughs> yes. Mr. Circo. George, you have a beautiful family. What if your family could have a lot of money? That's for you. Wait. No. I thought they want him to go to prison, not kill himself. What a lousy day for Alex. His last words were about you. He said something about every day being like an unwrapped present. We were just trying to get out of Clopton, Alabama, which isn't even a town. It's an intersection and a interesting shots like the fan at her side and then the splash of blood at his side we have a big problem yeah that's bad the judge threw his confession out of court he walked when two hours ago Motherfucker. um hello dexter <laughs> listen so all that's left to do is Kill him. <laughs> oh, Santorini. My feet. I'm supposed to feel sad for him. I will avenge your death. Everything I do is for you. Everything I do, I do it for you. 
Ah, shut up. <laughs> What? What is he? What are you doing here? Have you done enough? Oh, I'm just getting started. Fuck, sucker! You fucking piece of shit! So easy. Just like the others. I'll see you around. Oh no. Oh no. Wait. No, she she has to move to an apartment in a closed building. I saw Spelter. At Melanie's funeral, fucking smiling at the hearse and... What'd you do? I fucking attacked him! I wanted to fucking kill him! <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> is this ever gonna get easier? Nothing's really all that different, Deb. The only thing that's changed is now you know more about me. I'm the same person I've always been. Your brother, the same person who will always be there for you. Maybe the question is whether you'll be there for me. Fuck yeah. I don't know if I can feel the same way about us. Oh. Oh, I was too optimistic. Spelser may have a lizard brain like me, but his shortcoming is he doesn't have much of a human brain. Nice. You came. I wasn't sure you would. Me neither. Did you do this for me? No. For me. For us. No. How do you feel? Glad. No, oh, sit. What does that make me? A human. Human. As I said in the beginning, this is where my camera stopped recording. I don't remember a lot from the episodes. I do remember that this scene right here made me so uncomfortable. It made my eyes roll so far back, I could barely see anything. It's a real shame you can't see it. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, I, I'm glad I don't have to relive it editing and I can just <laughs> ignore these episodes. <laughs> Let's continue with the rest of the season. I'm thinking about Hannah's husband. 40 year olds don't just drop dead of a heart attack. Yeah, they sometimes do, actually. I heard of, of the situations similar situations the person i heard of the die at that age he was a sports fanatic he just came back from a long run and just dropped dead you know you never really asked me why i kill people i don't mean to <laughs> dexter we've been through this before someone accepting that so easily that's kind of a red flag Price. Oh! Clouds parted and much was revealed. <laughs> In the meantime, I'll keep quiet about you and Hannah McKay. A show of good faith. Between you and me, I'd watch what I eat around her. As if I needed another reason to stay away from him. At least I bought myself some time. And what? He's gonna kill him too? I'm on a dead end on Bay Harbor Butcher. Shit. I was thinking we could brainstorm. Angle or. You know, maybe we haven't missed anything. Maybe we've been sidetracked by our feelings about Sergeant Oaks. I know what it's like to hold on to an idea of someone, you know, to refuse to believe that they have a dark side, but all the evidence, it still points to Sergeant Oaks. At some point, we have to face facts. Maybe you're right. No, 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 Maria's not giving up. This blood spatter points to a killer other than Wayne Randall. I'm convinced Wayne was the sole killer. Hannah McKay killed this woman and you're covering for her. Why would I want to do that? To save her for your table. Hmm. Isaac Circle's attorney's on his way. They want to run their own analysis on the samples we took. Confirm that it's his client's blood we found. Yeah, but Quinn already stole something from the evidence. How in the hell does the most crucial piece of evidence against Isaac Circo just disappear? The Koshka Brotherhood has a mole inside Miami Metro. You read too many spy novels. Maybe the evidence just got misplaced. If we let a fish this big slip through our net, I'm going to be very unhappy. I've been approved to take over the lease, but I still need a few thousand to keep the place running. What are you going to do? Turn over all the cushions, stand in the corner with a tin cup. I don't know. He's actually going through with it. Holy shit. I don't know about the holy, but there's no denying that shit part. We oh. fucked up the sewage line to contaminate oh. the crime scene. Ew. Which means Circo will be free soon. Yeah, why don't you guys wait outside while we're in here vomiting? Yeah, close the door. That's a great idea. Keeping the stench inside. 
the address for the sister of Hannah's late husband. Have you ever heard of this thing called email? I like interacting with people face to face, especially <laughs> when their face looks like yours. You can cancel that shit right now. You got a problem with compliments? Yes, I do. When they're slightly cheesy and they come out of the blue, yeah. <laughs> Well, then maybe we can meet later for drinks and you can fill me in. It'll be totally off the record. He looks, he looks uh, kind of slimy. He has a face of someone who's a good liar. So you said this was about my brother, Jake? We need your permission to exhume his body. We believe he may have been poisoned and that his wife was responsible. They seem to have a great relationship, especially after they found out she was expecting. Interesting. Me? Need a hand? I need you out of my life. That can be arranged. All you have to do is talk to me. If you don't talk to me, you'll force me to speculate. Anna McKay never lost her taste for killing. She just updated her technique from knives to poison. Fine, we'll talk. Just keep Dexter out of this. My house tomorrow, 4 p.m. Is she going to poison him? No, he's not gonna drink or eat anything. <laughs> you should throw that away, Dex. And it needs to know what's going on. You're looking for. Well, I suppose we're going for a record. <laughs> a record? How many times we can say goodbye for good? Ugh. She isn't drawn to my darkness like Lila, and she doesn't need it like Lumen. She accepts both sides of me, the whole Dexter. Oh no. So why am I walking away from this? Because when some chemicals mix, they combust and explode. What the fuck? The normal? It is if the body wasn't embalmed. Unless the next of kin specifies otherwise. There's nothing I can do here. So you're saying this was all for nothing? I'm gonna find out what happened, Lori. I'm not gonna give up. What's in bonding? I guess there's, there's a, a chemical process they do to preserve the body, but why would you do that? You're going to forget about Dexter Morgan. He really got under your skin, didn't he? Just tell me that you understand. Never heard of him. What was that shot? He started to stab the husband over and over and over. The woman was screaming like crazy. Wayne was yelling for me to get her off him, so I, I pulled her to the bed and she just kept screaming. I stabbed her and there was so much blood. I stabbed her until the screaming stopped. <laughs> Is it wrong that I had no emotional reaction? Well, so long as I'm waiting around to kill you, I thought we might have a little chat. Hmm. Good chips. We have a cartoon in America about a coyote who chases after a roadrunner that keeps a rocket skating right off the cliff. You see, I know what motivates me. But what I don't know is what drove you to kill my friend. I told you he killed Mike Anderson, a man you barely knew for one less than three months. You didn't kill Victor out of vengeance. I have a feeling that you're a different kind of animal. What kind are you? Dexter Morgan. The kind who hunted your friend down and strapped him to a board and put a plastic bag on his head. The kind who's going to do the same thing to you, give or take the fire extinguisher. You're going to regret sharing that with me. Hmm. For the chip. <laughs> a man of honor. You know, as a blood spatter analyst, I'm kind of a storyteller myself only difference between us is your medium's ink mine's blood i have a story idea of my own so new dna evidence pops up in the unsolved murder of christy lawson it turns out that the dna belongs to a true crime writer he wrote a very successful book about the same case now it turns out he was her killer you son of a bitch hey, it's nothing personal i just can't have you messing with my life fuck you you're not gonna get away with this I'm gonna ruin your. What? Well, how did she? How? But he didn't drink anything. Press like to chew on his pens. Mm. The last one had a little something on it, completely undetectable. Hmm. Smart. I wanted a family, and he didn't. He threatened to leave me unless I got an abortion. 
So I'm supposed to feel sorry? I don't. Sometimes life subtracts. Sometimes it adds. No, not again. Don't. I don't even feel like commenting on this. Oh, oh, cute. This Aww. Is restaurant. It's 10 grand. I've been looking for the right place to invest. You can't take this. What are you crazy? It's family money. You're family to me. I do expect a few free meals though. Mm. Aww. <laughs> that was nice. Mmm. <laughs> not only can I kill her, I can't seem to stay away from her. Even when I'm not with Hannah, she's there. Is this what love feels like? Is this how it begins? Am I even capable of this? But we, we've already established that he actually loved Rita, so why is he surprised? Hannah McKay killed Saul Price. She's gonna get away with it. And we both know she's gonna kill again. He didn't deserve to die. There has to be some fucking justice. It's you, Dex. He's the justice? You know what I'm saying? She deserves it. Oh. Do what you do. Well, that's a pickle. I'm not killing Hannah McKay. Do you know how hard it was for me to ask you that? You could hardly live with yourself when you lied to Batista for me. How do you think you're going to live with knowing that you're responsible for a murder? Turns out there's a fuck of a lot that I can live with these days. Hmm. Deb, I care about you too much to let you do something you're going to regret. I'm sorry, the answer is no. You're still monitoring Isaac? What a disgusting name. Even for a strip club, the foxhole? This isn't about Dexter Morgan again, is it? Mm. He works for Miami Metro. We take out one more of theirs, they shut this place down for good. Just let it go. I'm gone. <laughs> so even he is telling him, like, dude, get over it. You're pushing your luck and it's pointless. But he's gonna, I mean, he's gonna try to do it. Hey, do you have any Boston creams? It's my sister's favorite. Is that your plan to keep Deborah from going over to the dark side? Give her a massive sugar rush? I'm not gonna stop seeing Hannah just because she's a murderer and my sister wants to kill her. <laughs> oh. Wait, so all the all the donuts are now need to go to the trash because of the of the glass shatters. <laughs> That's a shame. If you get a chance, stop by Papa's after work today. Oh. Shut the fuck up. You got the restaurant? That is fucking crazy. Wait, so he's still, he's not retiring. He just, it's kind of an extra business from the side. Look, I think you have the wrong idea. Shut up. I'm not interested in anything you have to say because you're a fucking liar. Sal Price was a storyteller. He wanted to sell books. He didn't care if they were true or not. You admitted to him on tape that you killed with Wayne. Lieutenant, what were you doing when you were 15 years old? I was just some dumb farm girl who was wakened in the middle of the night by an older boy that I had a crush on who said, let's go on a trip. I was in over my head. You knew exactly what you were doing then. You're in over your head now. Well, I don't know why I care so much about what you think, but somehow I do, so I'm sorry. You haven't even begun to be sorry. Uh-oh. Okay, if she ever tries to kill Deborah, obviously Dexter is going to, to kill her before that. He's got Isaac, Deborah, and Hannah. The kids are, are coming over and he's not even aware of the fact that Maria, you know, is, is, she has something on Dexter. Dexter Morgan. This guy had a slip. Meaning he doesn't have one anymore? No. A he slip? moved a few years back. Oh. I remember because it was odd. He had uh, eight months to go on his lease. When exactly did he move? May 2007. When all the... Are you sure? Everything good here. It's perfect. Thanks, Angel. Wow, she, she is so big. I do. Dexter, check out my Angry Birds score. Dexter doesn't want to see your Angry Birds score, Cody. Put it away. I've missed you guys. <laughs> we missed you too. <laughs> 
God, Cody, can we not get through one dinner without you doing something completely disgusting? You can't even make it through a weekend without smoking pot. <gasps> oh, my oh my God, she's smoking pot? Oh no, 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 no. It's just pot. Some states it's not even against the law. It's always against the law for someone your age, which is for your own good, by the way. Dexter's right, sometimes the things that seem like a good idea in the moment are the things you'll end up regretting later. Ooh, heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Vices can cause more problems than the original stress. Okay, I get it. Pot is evil. Are we done? Yeah, sure, we're done. So she taught both of them a lesson. The head of the Kashka Brotherhood wants to kill me. So what do you know about this Isaac Serko? I know that he wants to kill me and that I need to kill him first. You spent a lot of time finding out all about me before you try the same thing on this guy, figure out who he is and why he really wants to kill you. Yeah, because it does sound weird that that he wants to kill Dexter so much because of some friend. So you have no idea what he was doing in your apartment? Not a clue. Sure your trusty blood spatter analyst could figure it out. But perhaps I need some <laughs> sort of police escort. Oh, I already have that. <laughs> Estimate the time of death sometime yesterday afternoon. You need to tell them all day he wasn't here. Dex, what have you got? Yes, please, Dex. Tell us your theory. I'm so curious. <laughs> oh, God. I miss the beach. That reminds me of Mom. She used to take you guys here all the time. Orlando doesn't feel like home, but here doesn't either. There's no place I actually belong. Hmm. You know what I mean? Actually, yeah, I do. My grandparents found out about the pot. I think I'm just turning into my dad or something. You know, when I was younger, someone told me who I was, and I pretty much took his word for it. If I'd taken the time to decide for myself, it would have turned out different. For the record, it didn't turn out so bad. For the record, the pot will stay off the record. It's so hard growing up without a parent. <clears throat> What's that doing here? Well, I borrowed a car from a friend, so Isaac wouldn't recognize me. Does that friend happen to be Hannah McKay? I was going to... Oh, my God. How is he so... Deb, I can explain. I know what fucking is. No explanation necessary. All that bullshit about you caring about me too much to let me do something I would regret? I fucking bought it. Everything I said was true. Are you in love with her? I don't know. Is it because she's a serial killer? Every time I think I know exactly who you are, you tell me something worse. Being with Hannah is worse than being a killer? Yes! You can stop seeing her. I don't want to stop seeing her. I don't want to hurt you. <laughs> Guess what you did. You told me you accepted me being a killer. I feel like if you love me, you'll accept this. If I love you, if I love you, I went to the church that night that you killed Travis Martin oh. to tell you that I'm in love with you. Oh my God! Fuck! Really? Now? Now? I don't even know if I fucking like you. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's weird and it's gross and it's fucked up. <laughs> what can he possibly say? I'm sorry. Ooh, fuck. God, it is so hard being in love with someone and them not reciprocating that love. So it's just walking up to him. What a pleasant surprise. We both know you can't kill me here. I can, but I won't. There has to be some vestige of civility left even in this corner of the world. Hmm. Unlike most places on the planet, everyone's welcome here. Oh, ah. Incidentally, I have to thank you for slitting that assassin's throat. You might've saved my life. But you must explain to me your aversion to guns sometime. It's complicated. I can imagine it is. You should cut your losses, Isaac. Go back to Kiev. The one thing that made my life worth living in Kiev, you tossed in the ocean a few weeks ago. Ah. You took from me the one thing that money and power can't bring back. And what did you do to the man who murdered your spouse? Nothing you wouldn't have done. Nothing I wouldn't do a thousand times over again. Did it help? She's still dead. I don't understand much about love. That's because you're a scientist. Love defies reason. 
Nothing defies reason. I suppose the heart knows something that we just don't know. Or maybe the heart is just wrong. Our love can be inconvenient, uh, perhaps inappropriate. Make us do things we wouldn't dream of doing, but wrong. That just depends on where we end up. We're outsiders, you and I, pretending we're just like them, but knowing we're not. Best we can hope for is to find a place where we don't have to pretend. Under different circumstances, I think we could have been great friends. Mm. Till next time. <laughs> See you at the donut shop. No matter where we go, we take ourselves and our damage with us. <gasps> so is home the place we run to? Or is it the place we run from? Hmm. <laughs> Only to hide out in places where we're accepted unconditionally. Places that feel more like home to us. So where is he going? Deborah's or mm, the flower lady? Should we watch another episode? I think so. Have you always been this afraid of the water? Ever since my father thought that the best way to teach me how to swim was to march me down to the local pond and throw me in. It's horrible. Hannah keeps wanting me to open up and get to know the real me. The only problem is I'm not so sure there is such a thing. Relax. You're safe. Fredji! Changed greatly. Koshkas have sent two of their own to kill me, and I need your help to stay alive. <laughs> You're scared. <laughs> if you knew who these two men were, you would be too. What's in this for me? Your life. I'll hey, take pardon. Oh. Oh, he's not gonna help him. Wow, but he does... Wait, what? No, 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 no. Excuse me. Uh, he was after Dexter all this time because Dexter killed his loved one. But then he is okay with Hannah killing people just because they're... What, the husband who didn't want a family and threatened to leave her if she doesn't... Okay, no. I... I... I no, I don't agree. <laughs> Except they're gonna Ooh. shut me down. Wow. Mind if I take a look? I'd rather you not. At least until I'm done here. A little heads up next time. What would be the fun of that? <laughs> Investigate. Wow, this looks good. What do we have here? Watch. Holy play <laughs> <of> fuck. <laughs> <laughs> What you said the other day. I don't want to fucking talk about this. I'm glad you said it. Because on some level, I've always felt the same way. I am your brother and I love you. Just not in the same way you think you love me. I understand. It makes sense. It's logical. The way I love M&Ms, even though I know I shouldn't. M and fucking M's. And we've always been the one constant thing. It's like you and I, we endure. Maybe that's what love is. Endurance. God, Dexter, you, me, dad. <laughs> It's like mom got cancer to take the easy way out. I don't know, maybe it's better that it's out there and it's not controlling me anymore. Do you feel that way about your secret? Not really. Dexter, you're just in time for tea. Hope you don't mind on that myself. What the fuck? Where's Hannah? I assure you she's perfectly safe and quite comfortable. It's a small matter of the two men who want me dead and your stubborn refusal to help. If your life doesn't matter, I'm betting hers does. They already have a selfie together. Then what? You got Hannah back, and I walk away from Miami. And from you. No matter what you may think of me, or my methods, I'm a man of my word. I believe him. Dexter, you don't have to save her. You shouldn't even be with her. It's, it's, it's not even like you will have a fucking future. I don't know what's in our future. I don't want Isaac to kill her. That's all I know. You know what happened this morning? I was lying in bed. Staring at the ceiling, feeling the sun, and listening to the waves. And for a second, everything was just like it used to be. And then I blinked. And now it's burritos and hired killers and favors and fucking Xanax to get me to tomorrow morning so I can have that half second peace. I'll pull the surveillance. Don't you ever expect me to be okay with who you're doing this for? Okay, 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 okay. Th this is the plotline I'm into. Oh, that's a surprise. I think the Bay Harbor Butcher is alive and well and still in Miami. I found a blood slide at a crime scene, exactly like the ones we found in Dokes' car. And Dokes never had a boat. Here is a list of Miami personnel who still do. 
The only help you'll get from me is a lift back to Cuba. I understand. He's mad. He's gonna help. Maybe he, maybe he already knows about Dexter. And he has kept him safe because his father made, made him promise that he will take care of him. I don't know. I want to talk to Hannah. I've done everything you've asked, but I need to know she's still alive. And figure out where she is. The soccer, the soccer with the signature. I, I miss you. Likewise. Touching. Wait, he sent this to, to who? To Deborah? The chance to speak to Victor again, and he told me that he missed me. I think I'd like to think I could come up with something better than likewise. What do you even care? Well, look around. There's no one else here for me to talk to hmm. because of you. He was my life! But still, you sent him to Miami. You put all this in motion, and now you're terrified, Isaac. If you're terrified that I'm not really responsible for his death, that you are. Hmm. No. You're the reason he's gone. If you really believe that, I'd be dead by now. Hmm. Go. God, uh, okay, um... Isaac is growing on me. <laughs> Looks to be the same accelerant petroleum base as your car victim. Same oily residue. Typically with a suicide by fire, the gas or fuel is poured over the head like so. This fire's point of origin. Can we close the doors? This is void. The same thing that happened with the first car victim. Bobby. Maybe the victim was letting us know who did this, or was it the last person he was thinking of? Never seen anything like this. And they'd have to be wearing some kind of protective suit. It's not as horrific as one might think. These quickly induced shock or asphyxiation making the event relatively painless. Really? Good to know. <laughs> Thanks, hmm. Your man, Caffrey, he sees you? Yeah, I lead him to the port, Pier 18, Northwest Corridor. I'll be waiting there. Well, can you be more obvious? You fucked my girl? Well, technically, if the dancers are on the clock, they're my girls. What? You left me high and dry tonight. That's gonna stop. <laughs> Punches the guy and takes the girl. Eat. Well, how about you let me introduce you to some good old southern cuisine? I saw some tomatoes growing in the garden out back. I can't let you outside. You pick them then. Well, just remember not to ripe. I think I'm onto something. One the editors have this new thing in the season where two cuts, two scenes are cut perfectly together by having the same action end the scene and then start the scene. Like they had now the guy open the door and Deborah opened the door. A few episodes ago, Dexter was having a seep of uh, his coffee and then we cut to two cops drinking coffee sweetheart your oh. assistant told me i'd find you here we need to talk about what the horrible things you said to me <laughs> go home now why would i want to do that if i'm here to help the question, Maria, is how bad do you want this? Looks like a table just opened up. <laughs> yes. Oh my god, they keep giving me just little pieces. I want more. I want the, the I want a meal, not a snack. She put the poison in. She had some, I bet, in her boot. <laughs> Oh, sh ah! oh, she's bleeding a lot. Oh my God. The knife? I'll not get there. In the water. I'll do the same. Fine. Together then. Yeah. Isaac was right. I could have walked away if he'd let me, but I was wrong about him. I never thought he would. What the hell happened to you? Oh. Is he gonna save Isaac? Oh. Don't move, I can get you to a hospital. <laughs> we both know I'm a dead man. There's a kit in my car, I can help with the pain. I need you to do me one better. Sorry for the bumpy ride. Go oh, forgive me. Aww. I like this so much more that they open in scene. What do you intend to say to Hannah? 
you see her again. I guess that I'm sorry. You guess? She needs to know how you feel about her. It's not that easy. You can be absolutely fearless in the face of death, and yet so afraid to live. Death has always calmed me. Predictable. Inevitable. Mm. But now, with Hannah, I feel like I don't have any control. I just, I don't buy the relationship. I just, it doesn't string my heart. There's hope for you yet. Oh, what a surprise that he ended up being <laughs> one of my favorites this season. So he chained you up, you got free, he stabbed you, and then you beat him to death. As I stated, it was self-defense. Oh, I know. Still, there was a lot of blood. I just want to make sure that what you're telling me reflects what really happened. How is it that you were the one that found me? It's my job to follow through on anonymous tips. Doctor said I was in pretty bad shape when you found me. Given your feelings about me, why not just let me die? Maybe you can be fine with being responsible for someone's death, but I can't. That's that's not who I am. God, you're shaking. Sorry, I just don't. I've been scared like that. I have twice. When I was three, seeing my mother murdered, and when I realized these past few days that I might never see you again. Oh my God. I don't know, maybe it worked for you, but it's just not working for me. This love story. As much as I want to be here with you, my dark passenger really wants to be somewhere else. I'm sorry, your dark what? My dark passenger, that's what I call my need to kill. Why? Not leaving me any choice. You're not a puppet. Of course you have a choice. You don't get it. Mm. I'm trying to. But no, I don't get it. What the hell is this guy? Oh, oh Jesus. My God, that's my dad. Oh, shoot. That It's too early to meet the father. They just started dating. <laughs> Clint McKay, convicted felon. Mm. It runs in the family. I don't know what... Hannah's told you about me. <laughs> Just that you almost let her drown? Okay. I was a real, genuine asshole. I needed to admit that to you in person. Is he in AA? I spent a lot of time with the prison shrink working through my issues. He said it's important to take responsibility, so mm -hmm. that's what I'm here to do. Now, I don't expect you to forgive me, but it's important, you know, no matter what. I always Family. Oh. I always will. I've got something for you in my truck. In my pants? No. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, but the creepy music is... Uh, I don't know, I kind of like him on the first glance. There's a diner at the Purple Flamingo where I'm staying. Is there something in this house? Something she needs to find? I'm sure he meant well, but he could not have given me a worse gift. When I was eight, he took me to a poker tournament, stashed me in a motel room, went to play cards and didn't come back for three days. Oh, shoot. Three whole days alone as an eight-year-old. He's trying, right? Maybe maybe this last stint in lockup did him some good. Now I don't feel so sure about that because it started off positive. Basso's profile of the Phantom, he may as well be describing himself. Arsonist who works for the fire department. It's almost too easy. What else? Hmm. Yeah, like a serial killer working for the, uh, for the Miami Metropolis. Sims Miller, any leads from the tip line? None so far. Mostly girlfriends trying to get back at their exes. I like that they given uh, a few unrecognized characters some dialogue it feels so much more real like a real police station another set oh great she's second pills now no more than two. Oh my god is what's her name gonna try and kill her anna i think this is foreshadowing did you see anything suspicious when you were making your rounds that night no i didn't even know it happened so i saw the fire truck maybe he's the arsoner the phantom Basso's SUV, but where did he go? Wait, that's the... You know what? Sometimes I forget that in the US, cars are much cheaper than here. So when I, I see an SVU, SUV, I'm thinking, wow, he has so much money to buy that car. But I guess here? it's not that expensive. That's not a fireproof suit. You're a Civil War reenactor too? 
Oh my god. Um. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but if he didn't set those fires, then who did? This has given me um, Dawson Creek. A what's her name? The father is coming back into town, and then she finds out he's still selling drugs. Found the perfect thing. You ready? Crawfish. I'm gonna call it Big Clint's Crawdaddies, and I will ship them to you fresh anywhere in the country. Well, I'll tell you what, why don't you check out of that motel and come and stay with me while you're here? It's kind of like too good to be true. I mean, I do like seeing people come into their senses and trying to do better and reuniting with family, but it feels too good. I figured you might like to get in on the ground floor. What do you mean? Well, you know, invest. A great opportunity. I mean, there's mm. a guaranteed 10% a year back on your investment. Oh, it sounds like a scam. Like he came back just to scam her. No, oh, this place has got to be worth a pretty penny. Dad, it's not going to happen. Well, fine. Well, what kind of daughter won't even help out her own fucking father? Jesus, Dad. Okay, I don't like him anymore. He's doing this uh, guilt manipulation. A real good father would never ask any of his kids to get a second mortgage on the house or find some some leeway in the business and get upset when they say no you did this to get back at me for not giving you the money that you wanted oh talk about paranoid must be a whole lot of folks hate you for all the pain you've caused playing mother nature in here with your stupid little flowers got any idea what it's like to be the father of the infamous Hannah McKay. Goddamn curse, you ungrateful little shit. That's enough. Yo, you stay out of this. This is family business. You know, you killed your mother, don't you? She died of a broken heart after your spree with Wayne Randall. Everybody would have been a lot better off if I'd let you drown that day at the pond. <laughs> Get out of here. But how do I help Hannah put herself back together? The actress is so good. <laughs> I almost felt sorry for Hannah. I followed up on all the names you identified on my list. They were all dead ends. All except for Dexter Morgan. You really think Dexter is the Bay Harbor Butcher? It's worth looking into. No, it's a waste of time. If Dokes really wasn't the Bay Harbor Butcher, then that means that somebody probably framed him. Best thing to do is to look into Dokes' final days. We should start with the cabin in the Everglades. Makes sense. First, let's eat. Okay. God, I love this cooperation. But that scene was too short. <laughs> uh, in all aspects, Dexter is kind of like the perfect partner to have. Just not the mental issues. <laughs> Because the, the thing is, it's not a regular mental problem. There, there, there are no medications that I know for his problem. I just hope he's gone for good. You <laughs> sure scared the shit out of him. You hadn't seen that look on your face since you took me to see the snow. You're dark. Brighter. Hmm. <laughs> dark passenger. Does it just take over? Dexter Morgan just disappear? No, I'm still there. Do you hear a voice, or...? Not exactly. It's more like a need. So it's just like a feeling. Does he have, um... Nah, no, 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 it's not... No, I was going to say per multiple personality disorder, but no, because he's aware of everything that's happening at all times, so it's not... Okay. It's Nadia. Nadia? Let me go get it for you. She's got something to tell you. <laughs> uh, tell your boyfriend. Who you belong to? Fuck you! You gonna shoot me in my own club? Eats. Ooh. Oh, fuck. It's okay. Shoot me in your arm. What the? Are you okay? I'm fine. Go to the safe, get your passport and the money, and go. She can't be a witness. The Koshkis will kill her. And she's here illegally. Why? Well, but now he's. Now he brought Angel into this shit. There's your phantom. Joseph Jensen. Sent to a psychiatric facility in 2006. You're gonna turn that over to Deb? Deb was right. Now that I have proof, my urges are beyond my control. Your dark passenger. Where'd you come up with that anyway? I thought I got it from you. I gave you the code. I remember the first time you said it. You must have been about 12. I just let it go. Maybe the dark passenger is just a feeling. It can't be. Why? 
Because if there's no dark passenger, then I'm responsible. Well, yeah. For everything I've done. Uh, you, you've always been responsible. How, like, how dense are you, really? I'm Captain Maria Laguetta from Miami Metro Homicide. Were you the owner of this property back in 2007? And did you rent it at that time to a James Stokes? I told the cops back then I had nothing to do with that. And how did Mr. Dokes come to be staying here? I was running the place of Santos Jimenez. He was one of the three men responsible for killing Dexter Morgan's biological mother. She was butchered by Jimenez with a chainsaw in front of Dexter and his brother, Brian. Brian Moser? The ice truck killer? That was Dexter's brother? Yeah. And you don't think it's possible to, that Dexter is also a serial killer? Dexter watched his mother get chopped up, just like the Bay Harbor butcher chopped up his victims. So who was more likely to want Jimenez dead? Dokes? Or Dexter? Oh, come on, Maria. No, Tom. Hmm. He's letting his bias blind him. The Bay Harbor butcher took blood slides from his victims. Dexter is a blood spatter analyst, and Dokes always thought there was something off about Dexter. Hmm. What if Dexter is the real Bay Harbor Butcher. What if he isn't? If somebody's gonna talk to Dexter, it's gonna be me. Oh no! Okay, I'm sure Deborah's pills are gonna come into the story in some way. Either they are gonna be used on her, or she's gonna use them on someone else. Tom or Maria. Oh well, who's this big fella? That's my son. That fancy. And who are you? Ugh! Shut up! I didn't have nannies like you back in my day. Oh my god, shut up. The way they coddle kids today, you know, they're all going to be expecting a helping hand. I actually heard from uh, a few Russian friends of mine that their parents just, you know, they didn't give them any, uh, what do you call them, like floating accessories. <laughs> they just threw them to the water and they had to learn how to swim by themselves. <laughs> Bryce was paying me to dish dirt on my daughter. But I was saving the good stuff for a bigger payday. You'd sell your own daughter out for a crawfish farm? You gonna give me my money, or do I send Hannah to jail? Get out of here before you see my bad side. Mm hmm Yikes. You might want to ask Hannah about Arlene before you come to a final decision. She saw me put poison in that counselor's food. I'm gonna have to pay him. He's not gonna solve anything. He's just gonna come back. Well, I don't see any other option. When other people have threatened you, you found other options? I can't. He's my father. So I, is this the guy who who was questioned by Angel? Is this the same guy? <coughs> <laughs> so theatrical. But I only hurt people because of Bobby. You're the one who's burning people alive. You can't blame it on something that happened to you when you were a kid. Ah. Ha ha ha. Responsibility. Yeah. Hmm. Fuck. Yeah. Got your call. Glad you came to your senses. Mm. You got my money? Yeah. It's right back here. What's with all the plastic? Oh, he's gonna drown him? Oh. Oh, that's so poetic. Oh my god. Even though you don't meet my code, I really, really want to. Because unlike you, I care about Hannah. I got the devil inside you, boy. <laughs> no, I think it's just me. <laughs> Oh, I was for sure. I thought it was going to drown him. That's not the same. I got the money for my dad. I left him a message. He should be here soon. Oh, is she going to break up with him because he killed her father? I had a talk with him. I made it clear that I wouldn't allow him to hurt you anymore. So he's gone? He won't be bothering you again. Thank you. The dark passenger has been with me ever since I can remember running the show. But mm. as it turns out, I'm no puppet. I love you. No. I think I love you too. I've never thought about the future. But with Hannah, I feel like my life has finally begun. And growing old is not only a possibility, it seems appealing. Yeah, that's right. This is Dave County Department of Corrections. Pat 
Mr. Estrada. Wait, what? Having a parole hearing. When? This morning at 10 a.m. Who? Oh, Estrada? wait, isn't that one Remember of the I people Remember I told you about who... my mother and how she died? Hmm. Estrada is the last survivor. Mm -hmm. Sure you'll have something to say about that. Matthew's made his choices. Now he spends Christmas alone with his boat. How close was I to the same fate? Maria's convinced that Dokes was innocent. And that the real killer is still at large. Actually, she thinks it might be you. Me? I know. Personally, I think she's had one too many mosquitoes. Or whatever they <laughs> mosquitoes? <laughs> Yo, he's so igno yo he is something mosquitoes <laughs> i mean your brother went through the same thing you did look what happened to him he went on to dismember his own victims bay harbor butcher also dismembered his victims of course your brother wasn't a butcher the murders continued after his death it's weird huh another thing that's weird that cabin where dokes died was rented to a man named jimenez what are the odds He's interrogating me. You knew my father. You've known me my whole life. Do you think I'm the Bay Harbor Butcher? Of course not. But if I don't ask these questions, Maria will. You know, I always had a bad feeling about Dokes. I saw Dokes on his boat. Dokes had a boat? I figured he used it to dispose of his victims. Sorry to put you through all this, Dexter. I'll talk to Maria. Get her to move on. Look where it is still looking into the Bay Harbor Butcher. They think it's me. I need to put them off this once and for all. Give them definitive proof that Dokes was the butcher. It'll mean planting evidence. It's too risky for you, all of it. You're letting your personal feelings for the Morgans completely cloud your judgment. Yep. Letting whatever you had going with Dokes make you blind to his guilt. I heard of people fucking their brains out, Marie. Oh, shit. Private forensics team of yours. Yeah, what about him? Get him out here. I think we just struck oil. but we found one print on the hilt. It's a match for James Dokes. Are you certain? No question, Captain. Well, that sews it up. This evidence could have been planted. Why can't you let this go? Because I feel I owe it to James to clear his name. Because you two were a couple. Because he was innocent. So she's on her own now, and she's uh, she doesn't have the back of Tom anymore. Where you'll get what's coming to you. I expect to. Felice Navidad, Maria. Hmm. Now go drink some uh, mosquitoes. <laughs> uh. What the hell are you doing here? Uh, I came here to talk to you about Dexter. Dexter is happy. And I know him well enough to understand that this is a pretty big deal. And I think that Dexter could be a whole lot happier if he knew that you and I could find some common ground. Hmm. Do not invite her in. It's because I love Dexter that I'm willing to do whatever it takes to protect him from you. I'm not gonna give up until your murdering ass is behind bars for good. That's how we're gonna work out our issues. Uh, not really what you wanted to hear um, and what you should have said. Yep. Dex, St. Joseph. Deb was at St. Joseph's in Hylia. She's been in a car accident. What? Because of the pills? Can't believe we didn't see the car accident. Now it's this mystery of did Hannah did this or are they trying to make me think that she did this? And she didn't actually. She was at my house yesterday asking me to back off and now I'm here. The doctor said that it's possible the drugs built up in your system. I handed it to her. That's a really good plan. Making it look like I accidentally took too much of a prescription that I have. But how would she even know that you were on it? That's the thing about people that poison people, Dexter. They're really fucking sneaky. I don't know how she did it. Because she didn't. Here's a theory. Maybe Deborah intentionally took more to make it look as though Hannah did it. Because she wasn't lying. She, she did tell one truth, which was that Hannah was at her place. But the rest of it is kind of like assumptions. And we've already seen that Deborah is going through, he has been going through this, this change from being very strict and by the book to uh, implanting evidence to, in frame, uh, to frame dokes. So I wouldn't be surprised. 
been thinking about what's next for me after all this. I'm enjoying the restaurant, even with all the headaches. It's real. Straightforward. You open up, you feed people, you clean up, hmm. you close up, and you go home. You don't carry it with you. Hmm. And up until, I don't know, Mike's death, maybe, it never got to me. Wait, Mike? Oh, Mike. Jesus. <laughs> Uh, when are you retiring? Thought about putting my papers in on the first. That's a huge thing. Retiring from being a cop all your life to being 24-7 a restaurant owner. Look at her. So beautiful. I like that there's this mystery. And we, like Dexter, we need to unsolve the mystery. But can you ever fully trust a poisoner? I gotta say, her house looks very similar to Rita's house. And it kind of upsets me that he never talked like that about Rita, about how beautiful she was. And that she was just one stop, one bus stop. And this is the, the next destination. When Deb had her accident, she was heading to Arlene Schramm's house. She was hoping Arlene would give her a statement that would let her arrest you. Do you think that I had something to do with Deborah's accident? You were at her house last night. I thought that if she knew how much I cared about you, then she would back down a little. But she never will. Mm -hmm. She's like the Terminator. She's not going to stop. You need to figure out what it is that you want and what type of future you want to have. <laughs> it's funny how it started from a conversation about did you poison my sister or didn't you to you need to rethink our relationship <laughs> and think about what you want Strata. he's not naked but put a maybe put a sock in his mouth so you're walking no with her one... aren't you oh uh oh oh that fucking cop bitch the one oh. who got me out a big push for my release from the captain of miami metro oh Oh, wow, she is so sharp. That water is like 40% Alprazolam. That's an anti-anxiety drug. Hannah dissolved the pills into Deb's water so that she'd pass out behind the wheel. I don't think so. I think it's Debra. I think if it were Hannah, we would see her do it. She didn't do it. She didn't. I mean, I, I don't mind that she's going to jail. She did some terrible shit. Hannah McKay, you're under arrest for the murder of Sal Price. Although, I'm sure they did it, but, but Hannah should pay for the crimes she committed. Just like I think uh, Dexter should go to jail for what he did. That's something Deborah would say. She likes to curse. You said that you loved me. I do. Then why am I here? You poisoned Deborah. And what was I supposed to do? You were supposed to choose me. Really? Oh my god, that is so disappointing. Wow. If this season does, doesn't end with, with us finding out that it was actually Deborah, I'm gonna be really upset. This could have been such a great arc for this season. Captain. Dexter. It might be best if you take Harrison to another room. But I'm placing you under arrest for the murder of Hector Estrada. Get Man, your hands off of me! Back. Jamie, just take Harrison to his room. James always knew there was something wrong with you. Surprise, motherfucker! Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh my god. Wait, I think that's what he told Dexter when he caught him. Uh, throwing the, something like going with the boat from the cabin, right? Oh, I'm so happy. What we talked about. Come on, Maria. Don't you at least want to think about it? Oh, shit, Morgan, I didn't even know you were there. You're like invisible. <laughs> I want more flashbacks. Sometimes it only takes a moment to reveal who we really are. Looks like you spun a goddamn web. Yay! Consistent with the puncture wounds on the previous victims. Uh, she was standing when she was attacked. She stumbled her body, and she's down on all fours. He's on top of her now. Here. 
I've never seen someone so excited about a crime scene before. <laughs> you like this blood shit a little too much. <laughs> <laughs> then wipe that fucking smile off your face and help me find a creep who did this. I let my guard down. Mm -hmm. For an instant, my real life bled into my fake life, and Dokes caught his first glimpse of the real me. The commissioner is going to open an investigation into your recent conduct. If called to testify, I'll be dragged into this mess and have no choice but to tell the truth. So what's your advice? Get on your knees and start kissing anything that even remotely resembles an ass. <laughs> See, due to my overzealous nature as a police officer, I, I got too caught up in the case. You got too caught up being an idiot. My job is at stake. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. But why would he... Just keep your head low. Is he really gonna help her? My, how you must have trouble sleeping at night. You don't know shit about me. Except that you're the lieutenant of homicide and you wear a big shiny badge and yet you know exactly what your brother is. How do you justify arresting me and not him? Or is the law just something that you make up as you go along? Turning a blind eye whenever you feel like it or whenever Dexter is involved. Well, she's she she's right. I'm a killer, but not a hypocrite. Mm. Mm hmm. Wow, that was KO. <laughs> what I put your brother through was negligent and unforgivable, and I'm sorry. If it's any consolation, my career is going to take a hit. I hope not. I want to leave things in some kind of order. Loose ends on Travis Marshall's death. I was hoping you could help me with the timeline. According to Dexter's statement, he was doing his final forensic sweep on the church under your supervision. No. You don't go to the church that day or evening. No. When I was going through the mail this morning, I got a package from Mike Anderson's widow. He ordered security footage from all gas stations around the church. Eee! <gasps> Oh. Oh. What were you doing there, Lieutenant? We've known each other a long time. Is there something you want to get off your chest? I think you've been under a lot of stress. I think I'm not the only one. Hmm. You made a mistake trying to protect someone they care about. <laughs> really, really good score this season. Okay, we're getting closer to maybe proving my theory about or manifesting my theory about uh, Deborah killing Maria. Look, all she knows is that you bought some gas. It's not a crime. Buying gas to burn down a church to cover up the fact that you <laughs> killed Travis Marshall is, and she knows that. But she can't prove it. If all she's got is that DVD, I can handle this. I don't want to lose it. I'm gonna stand my ground. I don't see any other option. Well, that's a plan, but it's gonna be very suspicious if now all of a sudden Maria disappears. Dexter, you have never done a kill like this. Look, where does an innocent? She doesn't even begin to meet the code. How did we end up here? Morning, Dex. Another flashback. Yeah. Get one while they last. I don't want no fucking donut, Morgan. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's not you. It's. Look, wait, though. Should have never gotten involved with her to begin with. Never jump the fence if you're not willing to face what's on the other side. Where the fuck did you hear that? A friend said it to me in a moment of stress. Bullshit. You don't have any friends. Uh, am, I, am I supposed to remember that line? This is the journal of that motherfucking hooker killer. Never jump the fence if you're not willing to face what's on the other side. Oh, my God. Oh, Dexter. It's a weird coincidence. Fuck coincidences, I don't believe in them. There's something off about you, Morgan. I should have seen it before. The fake smile, the donuts. You don't even walk like a normal person. You glide. It's all a fucking act, and I ain't buying it. <laughs> I think you're overreacting. You're hiding something. And one day I'm gonna figure out what it is. You are one creep, motherfucker. <laughs> Oye, this is Hector Estrada. I need your help. I'm back here at the shipyard. Oilo. 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 Maria. Oh. It was a matter of survival. It was her or me. Her or me. Once again, he learns a lesson. Killing you will be easy, but I have another kill I have to do. It's not so easy. So why are you doing it, man? To protect myself. 
for my sister. Exactly. The normal reasons. I've never killed for normal reasons. No, but that's again, that's gonna be too suspicious if he kills her. <laughs> so, did it work? It ended the circle or what? I cannot believe Joy is still alive. <laughs> So is your brother here? He said he was gonna be here. Yeah, Maria too. I'm gonna call him and make sure he's okay. I was hoping to get a 20 on Captain LaGuardia's vehicle. Her vehicle is heading north towards the Miami port by the shipping yards. It's, it's Deb, whatever you're thinking of doing, please don't do it. Oh my god. Look how she changed colors. Use her gun to shoot Estrada and his puncture wound. No. I'll use Estrada's gun to shoot Laguerta, so it'll look like they killed each other. Yes. You shouldn't be here. What are you doing? What needs to be done? It's the only solution. The only way to end this. No, no, no! I can't let you go through with this. Shoot him, Deb. You have to end this. Shoot him. Stop. Do it, Deborah. Shoot him. This is not who you are. You're a good person. You're not like him. Put him down! You're a good person. It's okay. Do what you gotta do. Bye, Maria. You are awesome. <laughs> Duh, this fucking sucks. <laughs> this really fucking sucks. But I fucking called it. Fucking sucks so much! <laughs> How can she to return to the party? So when we break those rules, we risk losing ourselves and becoming something unknown. Who is Deb now? Who am I? Is this a new beginning or the beginning of the end? And we're not yet done with it. Hannah, fucking Hannah. Wow. Well, some things I did call and others uh, not so much. I'm really, really shocked that Deborah wasn't the one who poisoned herself uh, because they kept it such a mystery. I thought for sure they were going to reveal that she poisoned herself, but no. I was right about her uh, killing uh, LaGuerda, which was... Uh, yeah, that sucks. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, overall, the season... Uh, was so much more, except for some elements I didn't really like, like the relationship between Dexter and Hannah. I, I thought this season was more enjoyable than season six. I liked the arc that Deborah went through from finding out the truth to trying to put Dexter on rehab and then coming to terms with new feelings that she didn't feel before, like wanting to kill people, or at least ha have bad people dead and punished, uh, not under the, you know, the regular justice. And then uh, finally killing LaGuerda, like I expected would happen. Um, I liked um, Maria and Tom working together. I, I would have liked to see more of that kind of Nancy Drew-ish uh, theme, like more investigating, more snooping around and uh, following leads. I liked the... Wait, was he Ukrainian or Russian? I actually don't remember. He was fun, but you know, I feel like that was the same they did him the same uh, thing they did to to sam killed them kind of kind of early i think it was mid-season that they killed I, I forgot his name um but yeah he was awesome and uh yeah overall the season was pretty fun the dogs flashbacks perfect yeah now we have hannah to to deal with in season eight that thing uh, I'm not looking forward to, honestly. We have so we have one more season, and I'm thinking one more person is going to find out the truth about Dexter, and then maybe in season eight, he's gonna find himself behind bars, 
and then the new blight series is going to start somewhere after now it can be after he after he, he uh, was in prison and got released because he did a lot of killings so maybe we'll see him in jail the whole season i'm not sure uh but yeah anyway i hope you enjoyed this video i know it was a new format um but i think we covered pretty much all the basics all the, the important stuff let me know your thoughts in the comments and i hope you enjoyed me enjoyed me it, join me <laughs> join me again in season eight uh, can i speak oh my god join me again in season eight or i will cut you to pieces okay bye